What's up, guys? I know it's been a long time that you've missed me. I'm sure you're all dying to see my face again. By that, I literally mean you've probably died of old age since the last time you've seen a vlog by me, because it's been a fucking long time. So, today, you know, St. Patrick's Day, and I thought I'd kind of explain to you and bring about the lies and the deceit and the horror that is St. Patrick's Day. Now, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of holidays that I think are stupid or that I hate and that I think are completely unnecessary, but this is probably the number one one because it's St. Patrick's Day. Get me wrong, I heard St. Patrick's dude was a great fucking guy and all, and I'm sure he had quite the ginger fro going on, but I don't know. Seems like a not really our holiday, maybe in Ireland because we don't really celebrate the guy himself, right? We just celebrate a bunch of Irish stuff. Like, let's see here. People get wasted. Maybe eat some Lucky Charms in the morning. Fuck a Irish bitch, if you're lucky. What if, in Ireland, people had a George W. Bush day? What would we all do? Jump on our fucking dogs? Guess what? We got fucking chihuahuas for Christmas. We go and then we hunt on their backs like savage animals for cheeseburgers. I don't know. It doesn't really seem like it's going to happen, does it? Yeah, because everyone in Ireland's going to have a day where they get fat and fuck fat bitches. I don't think so. But probably better than fucking Irish bitches. Either way, what does Ireland really bring us? You know? Potato famines? dreams of little Irish midgets with pots of gold that elude us? What could be in that gold? Psh, could donate it, cure cancer. This day is about not curing cancer. Are you serious right now, St. Patrick's Day? Psh, way to go. On a side note, I got mac and cheese, which isn't green. Anyways, little midgets, pots of gold, not helping cure cancer. Then guess what happens? They bring down their Ford Elite dildo that's green and shimmering, and they stick it up your fucking ass. And your ass only has one hole, in case you forgot, not four. I don't know what happened to those other three, but I am a little bit better at math than you may think. It doesn't work, okay? I'm telling you right now, it doesn't. So, I don't know. It seems kind of fucked up. So, with many holidays, traditions, you know, some things come with it. Christmas, we get a fat man in a red suit, comes down our chimneys, doesn't rape anyone, and leaves his presents. Eats our cookies. He's probably having a heart attack on our floor and dying as we go and see him. He's gasping for air, and then we realize it's our neighbor, uncle. It's our neighbor next door. Kind of smells like Taco Bell every day. He has candy wrappers all over the floor. Some screams you don't understand. He's laying on the floor. He thinks he's Santa. So, what comes with St. Patrick's Day? A lot of people that think they can pinch you. I don't know. Now, it wasn't just to show you my penis. It's to show you that I'm not wearing green. Now, do you want to pinch me right now? Do you want to pinch me? Right there. Maybe you do. If so, please leave your number so I can contact the police and track you down because... It's not right. But either way, I think it's kind of stupid, don't you? I mean, how did this start? Was it a man wandering into the woods, seeing an Irish ritual on St. Patrick's Day, where a bunch of people tie down someone that's not wearing green? And because he doesn't have any spirit, they jerk him off until he's forced to jizz green? And the guy watching it doesn't feel comfortable telling everyone, so he just goes back and he says, You know, what did I see? People pinching people. You know, it's all right. Why not hide the shame? Hide the lies? Why am I wearing Norwegian sunglasses? Because they're not fucking liars. And what if a kid doesn't have a green shirt? I mean, I only own one. What if a kid, all he has is his fifth grade Ninja Turtle outfit? Obviously it doesn't fit him because he's a senior in high school. Wears it to school anyways. Gets made fun of even more. So he goes to his mom and says, Can I please have a green shirt? So his mom uses the last bit of money that they were going to use to buy popsicles? So she can melt the popsicles down and give that to her 12 dogs and then the children can eat the sticks and burn the rest for heat. And she uses that money 
to buy you a green shirt. Little do you know your mother's colorblind. You get a fucking teal shirt. I don't even know what color that is, but I don't think it's green. So that's fucked up. Your life is ruined. You go home, you end your life. St. Patrick's Day is killing children. Anyways, guys, I think I'm going to end it here. Sorry if you thought that I hate Irish people, because I don't. But I just had to get that off my chest, tell you that I don't really care for the holiday, even though St. Patrick is, I'm sure, a fabulous person, even though I don't really know, but I'm going to make up stuff like every geographic channel in the world lies and deceit. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. I hope to have two more videos up before I leave in a week, but at least one. Either way, leave some comments down below. Tell me what holiday or holidays you think are wasted, the ones you hate the most, you think they're pointless, whatever. Other than that, if you leave a like on the video, share it with someone, subscribe for more videos like this, anything would be appreciated. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.